Hello and welcome to an overview of the step-by-step -step guide Demonstrate Direct Access in a Test Lab document. My name is Joe Davies. I'm a principal writer on the Windows Server Networking IT Pro writing team at the Microsoft Corporation. Aristotle once said, what we have to learn to do, we learn by doing. To that end, this document provides you with step-by-step -step instructions using a minimum number of steps and a minimum number of computers to demonstrate the operation of direct access in a test lab using computers running Windows Server 2008 R2 or Windows 7. The result is a working test lab for direct access to show its functionality and act as a starting point for future learning about direct access and for an eventual deployment in, in, in a pilot or production capacity on your network. Notice the following are not goals of this document. This document is not designed to teach you about direct access design considerations or best practices. The configuration of the test lab is not really designed to be easily adapted to allow you to deploy direct access in a pilot or on your production network. Direct access, whether in a pilot or production capacity on your network, requires very careful design and planning. Here we see the configuration of the Direct Access Test Lab. We have four server computers, two client computers, and three subnets. Let's take a look at the subnets. The CorpNet subnet is using a private IPv4 address space and is emulating a private or corporate network, also known as an intranet. The Internet subnet is using uh, the public IPv4 address space and is emulating the global public IPv4 internet. And the HomeNet subnet is using a private IPv4 address space and is emulating a single subnet home or small business network environment. Now let's take a look at the individual computers and their roles on this network. DC1 is running Windows Server 2008 R2 as acting as a domain controller for the corp.contoso.com domain. It is also acting as a DNS server DHCP server and an enterprise root certification authority for issuing digital certificates. DA1 is running Windows Server 2008 R2 and is acting as both a direct access server and a web server. App1 is running Windows Server 2008 R2 and is acting as a general application server for web access and shared files. And is also acting as a network location server very specific type of server that direct access clients use to detect whether they're directly connected to their intranets. INET1 is running Windows Server 2008 R2 and is acting as an internet DNS and web server. NAT1 is running Windows 7 and is acting as a network address translator or NAT between the internet and home net subnets. NAT1 is emulating a cable modem or wireless access point you might have in your home that it connects your home network to the internet. And finally we have Client1 running Windows 7 Enterprise or Ultimate Edition that's acting as the direct access client. Please note that both DA1 and NAT1 are connected to multiple subnets, two subnets each, and therefore require two separate network adapters installed. The initial configuration of this test lab configures the computers in the order in which I previously described. The first three steps of first three computers are really configuring and filling out the intranet infrastructure and environment, DC1 being the domain controller, DA1 being the direct access server, and App1 being a general application server. The next two steps, four and five, have you configure INET1 and NAT1, basically filling out the internet environment. And finally, you cl connect client1 to the CorpNet subnet and join it to the corp.contoso.com domain. After the initial configuration, it's time to configure and test to direct access using the following steps. The first step has you configure DA1 as the direct access server using the direct access setup wizard. This wizard creates a, a series of group policy objects as well as additional settings on DA1 to, to enable uh, direct access. The next step has you, uh, with Client1 connected to the CorpNet subnet, you update its group policy, and then you verify that Client1 can access intranet resources on App1, uh, a web location and a file share. The next step is to disconnect Client1 from the CorpNet subnet and connect it to the internet subnet and verify that you can access those intranet resources in the, in the exact same way as Step 2 when Client1 is connected to the internet subnet. 
seamless access to intranet resources is the, ma the, the main functionality of direct access. In step four, you connect client one to the home net subnet and once again demonstrate that you can access the intranet resources in the same way as you did in step two. If you're having problems with the direct access test lab, please retrace your steps. This test lab is very, very specific in its configuration and, and an error in an IP address or a URL can impair the direct access functionality. If after retracing your steps you're still having problems, find, search for and find the document called the Direct Access Troubleshooting Guide uh, for resources on direct access tools, troubleshooting methodologies, and help for sp specific problems. To use the Direct Access Test Lab to learn about direct access troubleshooting tools and techniques, see the document titled Step-by-Step -Step Guide Troubleshoot Direct Access in a Test Lab, which will provide you information about direct access tools, the results of those tools as client one connects to the different subnets, and a series of exercises where you break the direct access configuration in a very specific way, and then use documented troubleshooting techniques to discover the root cause. For more information about the design and configuration of direct access for your pilot or production deployment, see the documents titled Direct Access Design Guide and Direct Access Deployment Guide. For a copy of this document, uh, search for the step-by-step -step guide demonstrate direct access in a test lab or go to the URL indicated here. If you're just starting out with direct access, I can recommend no better resource than to go to the, the main direct access website at microsoft.com slash direct access. This is Joe Davies. Thank you for your time and attention.